Hello everyone, my name is Spitfire, and welcome back! I'm, I'm glad to be back here. I'm glad to be back doing something. Uh, I'm not sure how close on how far my schedule is going to be. I told you on the last video, it was my update video. But this is going to be something I'm um, really going to have fun with and enjoy. Uh, these are, because my schedule is back, this is uh, totally re recaps. I'm doing, I think, usually I'm doing four. This is uh, uh, season eight. Uh, don't know the names. I think 23, 25, and then the season eight finales, and then the season one premiere. I know I'm on the beginning of the end. I mean, uh, is it beginning? I, I'm fucking stupid. Let me try real quick. Yeah, the beginning of the end. Fucking idiot. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be really fun. I really like uh, DWK uh, stuff. Very fun creator. Very uh, enjoy his uh, stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, bitches, let's do go. this. I think we can keep it under thirty seconds. Word. <clears throat> Wow, Applejack sure. and Fluttershy, my two good friends who are honest okay. and kind respectively, you've been called by the friendship map. Ah, yes, that map we have that sends one or more ponies at a time on friendship missions. Indeed. As yes. is often the case, I'm scared. As is equally often the case, I'm not. According to our friend Rockhoof, nice. who was featured two episodes ago, there's, uh, fr yes. friend, friendship... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, AJ, hit the reset button. Oh fuck oh, me, no. did I overheat? Yeah, look, let's just take our time with this, okay? All right, uh, where was I? Out. Oh, yeah. It says, a group called the Kieran used to live there. A group? Like a uh, musical group? No. A uh, news group? No. A financial group? No. The uh, performance art group? Look, I'm just trying not to say the word race, okay? It's not PC enough anymore. So, an ethnic group. Just fucking go. I guess that works. So Apple Hat and Butternut hop on the E-Train, go to this place, fend off an attempted rapist, and start climbing. Or at least Applejack does. Uh, Fluttershy hangs out with some squirrels, eats some foxgloves, and starts screaming in toxicity-induced delirium. But uh, fortunately, the rage somehow makes her strong enough to move this five-ton boulder that's blocking the entrance to the Kirin town. And speaking of Kirin, they show up, and AJ's like, What's up, guys? We are the Pony Master Race have graced your primitive society with our presence. That we may job, alleviate any social problems your inferior brains are unable to solve. Yo, maybe they don't speak English. Do you understand Honish? Fucking talk, you piece of shit. Hey, maybe they're just hella shy. Let me try something. <clears throat> what is your favorite anime? <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? They all have neck beards. It, it was worth a shot. Anyway, Fluttershy feels really embarrassed about that name. anime thing and has to leave the they episode for a few minutes. But fortunately, AJ meets a Kieran who mean. can talk. And she's like, all right, I can smell exposition coming a mile away. So what's the deal here? <sighs> well, you see, this place actually used to be pretty sweet. It was just us Kieran chilling out here up in the mountains, living in our little jungle village. Uh, problem is we we're really isolated and after so many generations your gene pool starts to look a little uh, uniform. If, yeah. if you catch my drift. Yes, we do. Yep, happened in my family. Fucking your cousin seems hella convenient for a while, but uh, then come the extra chromosomes. Exactly, but sadly, when we finally decided to venture out and integrate into modern society, it came with a horrible consequence that we never could have predicted. What, like what drugs? Crime? No, something worse. Something that can unravel the moral fiber of a society and destroy its cultural foundations in a matter of months. Wait. Do you mean yeah, high-speed internet access? We oh, all no. spent so much time oh, on no. the internet arguing and oh, jerking no. off that we forgot how to interact oh, no. like we used to and have normal face-to-face oh, -face no. conversations. It filled us oh, no. with so much rage and bitterness that one day the entire town got into a massive flame war. But you see, here's the thing. When we cure and flame each other on the internet, we literally catch on fire. The village was razed to the ground and scores of Kieran died screaming as they burnt to ash. Wow. When the dust settled, our leader tried 
to unplug the Wi-Fi router, but there were so many cables and they're all behind the desk Gosh, and damn. it's really hard to figure that <laughs> shit that out up, when you just got hosed. Clean and I mean, the damage Clean was already up. done. We'd forgotten how to communicate. We'd forgotten how to express normal emotions. Oh God, are you telling me? Yes, the internet gave us autism. I'm so sorry. It even <laughs> happened to me, but right. then one day I went out to pick flowers and somehow my internet-induced social ineptitude was cured. Weren't the rest of the Kieran happy for you? Didn't they want to figure out how it happened? Nah, man. They Not called really. me a normie and told me to get the fuck out. I've been living here alone ever since. I'm so sorry, man. You must be really lonely. Don't feel sorry for me pity my people. At least I can feel out here instead of artificially numbing the emptiness of my life with constant dopamine hits from a never-ending string of random content and meaningless social media interactions. I might be lonely, Great. but they're imprisoned. Seriously though, Autumn Blaze is a quality chick. Aside from being adorably spastic and having the voice of a fucking angel. I like her because she's got the courage to stand by her principles even if it means being completely alone. And yet, despite being ostracized by everyone she's ever cared about, she has the emotional fortitude Whoa. to remain kind and optimistic. If I was one of you yeah. filthy, disgusting degenerates who pushed this whole multiple waifus meme, she might earn a spot. So AJ goes back to the place right. and she's all <laughs> Photoshop. I know how to it's fix this. We gotta get these guys off the internet. And Butter's like, like, we can't do that, AJ. All this friendship bullshit is just an attempt by ponies to dominate the world through emotional manipulation and forced cultural assimilation. Harmony is a lie. It's a tool of the false goddess. Love and equality wow. will pollute the genetic pools of all species. Technology and eugenics will be our only- Dude, what are you talking about? Snap the fuck out of it. I can't, AJ. Yeah, they they red-pilled me. There's no going back. So the Kieran decide to end this argument by throwing poor Nutter and AJ directly into their collective social media feed and rob them once and for all of any real emotion or individuality. Fortunately, just then, Autumn comes blazing in and saves their asses, and AJ it's like, wait, I thought you guys explode and die when you get angry. How are you alive? I guess it's because anger isn't always a bad thing in real life. I mean, sure, it can be, but it can also have a purpose, like giving you the courage sure. to defend yourself or someone you care about. Huh, I guess the only place it's truly useless is on the internet. Also, guys, I figured out how I cured my internet autism. I was so pissed about something Fern Flair said on Kieran Twitter that I went out to pick foxgloves so I could synthesize some digitalis and poison her food, but once I went outside for a few hours, I realized that none of it mattered and my emotions started now. to come back. No, All we, we have to do to unfuck our social that. skills is go outside no. and talk to each other no. in real life. I mean, it. it might be hard at first <laughs> and we'll never though. forget <laughs> shitting dick nipples or two mares, one cup, but okay, eventually Hopefully we can be kind of normal anyway. again. So, all the Kieran go hang out together in the town square and take their first steps on the long road to recovery. We get a reprise of nice. the season's second best song and our hero, Autumn Blaze, douses the Wi-Fi router in water, shorting it out and ensuring that her people will forever be free from the curse of the internet. Unlike us. Unlike us. Which is probably more now because of... Well, here we are. The beginning yeah, of the end is final. right on our doorstep, so it's finally time for me to do this. The season eight finale. Now, we all know what's yes. gonna happen. It's been foreshadowed to the point of beating us over the head with it, but that's the kind of beating I like. And after well. waiting two long years, the pain just makes it that much sweeter. It is time for the showdown. Let's do it. So poor Muffins crashes into the friendship school because the building appeared out of like nowhere in a day and she's still not used to it yeah. being there and we're treated to a scene of our little lolly friend Cozy Glow running around the school being nice to people. A seven letter word for teamwork. Have you tried slavery? That's it! Thanks, Cozy. She's almost suspiciously nice, isn't she? Like, maybe she yes. could be some sort of villain in disguise? Anyway, Dashi and Glim Glam are taking the students on a field trip to the Rainbow Factory as part of the latest collective effort to give Yona a heart attack. And Gellis is all, yeah. come on, Yona, it's not like you're gonna fall or anything. No, no, Yona, 
Yeah, and it's not like Professor Dash is gonna suck me off right now or anything. Don't be mad, I had to try it. This is the face you make when you realize that cheating death doesn't mean escaping death. Sometimes yeah. it follows you. Dude, Twilight, my spell just stopped working all of a sudden. This is an emergency. Oh, uh, come on, Starlight. It's not the end of the world if you can't keep it up once in a while. Holy shit, this is an emergency. Oh, so if it happens to someone right. else, it doesn't matter. But as soon as it happens to you, then it's a problem. Yes, that's how caring yeah, about things works. works, Starlight. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Yeah, right, but it's polite to at least <laughs> pretend that's not true. My and everything is else. Gone. Okay, students almost dying and alicorns losing magic is bad, but now it's inconveniencing Best Pony. We gotta do something about this. Um, uh -huh. didn't we learn in class about a creature that eats magic? Tur t something? Excellent misdirect, Cozy Glow. Nice. <laughs> nice, it was a very nice face away. That's how people got it. Spike's dying. Anyway, we should go see Celestia. Spike, Don't worry, guys, it'll Spike's be dying. here any minute. I hope I get Spike's to do something dying. this time. I've got it, Your Majesty. This year's finale plot. So is it any good? It is even more terrible than we feared. Well, fucking read it. Magic is disappearing all across Equestria. I wouldn't call it terrible, just kind of generic. Anything else? If we don't stop it within three days' time, the show will be ruined forever. Ugh, not again. How many times can something be ruined forever? Uh, I don't know. There a lot. doesn't seem to be a, a limit, does there? Does it say anything about me? What do you think, Luna? Alright, it's probably Tyrick, so we'll Great. go beat the shit out of him in prison. You guys will come along and help me, right? Uh, yeah, we always do. I finally learned that it's okay to count on your friends for help. Haven't we all been learning that constantly for the past eight years or so? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, we have. I'm Twilight Sparkle. What's your name? So, Twiggles and company set off for Tartarus, leaving management of the Friendship School in the battle-tested hands of Guidance Counselor Glimmy Glam and Cozy Glow, who seems very excited about working with Starlight. Very interesting setup we have with these two, almost as yes. interesting as the next morning when Glimmer suddenly disappears under suspicious circumstances, leaving Cozy Glow yes. in charge. It's almost like someone's hiding something here. Perhaps a secret identity? Damn it, I can't open the door without magic. Wait, uh, no, run that by me not. again? Well, we need magic to open the door, no, but my magic's gone, so I can't do it. No, then uh, uh, why did we come here? Just just talk to Derek, don't you remember? But okay, let's go a little slower. So you already knew your magic didn't work before we got here. Yeah. You need magic to open the door. Correct. Tyrick is yeah. on the other side of the door. Indeed. So yes. given these facts, how did you plan on talking to Tyrick? Think about it real hard. Uh, with my mouth twice. Even I get it. Twilight, look! Oh, hey, the key to the door we need to open. Why didn't I think of that? Twilight, are you feeling okay? <laughs> no. I'm Twilight Sparkle. So, we're back at the Friendship School, and them's learning herds have begun to suspect that there's something <laughs> off about hurts. Cozy Glow, so they decide to spy on her a little bit, and this guy's like... Where is Princess Twilight? Oh god, please don't rape me. I wasn't planning on it. Don't leave me by the side of the road, bloody, bruised, and defiled, barely able to walk, yet shamefully aroused my conceptions of intimacy and physical affection what? inalterably broken. I'll grow up to be a filthy, self-loathing whore, insatiable, but never able to love. It would be a tragedy. What the hell is wrong with you, kid? Not enough. Whatever, I'm claiming the school in the name of the Pony Master Race, deposing Twilight, and expelling all those disgusting disgusting non-pony students. Hey, man, that is not okay. Yaks, griffins, dragons, and all other inferior species have a place in our society, like doing manual labor or working retail. Don't be racist. No, the yaks will steal our women with their massive, hairy schlongs. Griffins will drain bits from our economy by sending them back to their impoverished homeland. And don't get me started on dragons, especially the females, the sensuous succubi with their <laughs> wow. shiny, muscular butt bodies and those long fallacious serpentine tongues it's it's disgusting how can a mere pony resist the temptation well, how can he in good conscience well. look his poor wife in the eye when his mind is constantly plagued by lustful thoughts for these indecent creatures well forbidden lust self-loathing denial that's so tragic <laughs> 
Yo, what? We're doing little Philly shit up here. Dude, like, all the magic is getting drained out of Equestria, but Twilight went to Tartarus, yeah. and now this greasy-haired, pasty-ass dude is trying to take over the school, and he captured all my friends, but I lied to escape. So hey, he hey, shut up. Nobody wants to listen to an episode recap, okay? Just tell me what the problem <laughs> yeah. is. I'm the only one who isn't locked up, and I gotta save him, but I can't really carry a scene by myself. Could, could you help? Oh, fuck yeah. Wow. Hey, Scoot, sweetie Belle, we get to be in a fucking finale. I just put a hungry man in the microwave, and I'm not going anywhere <laughs> till I eat it. You can eat it when we get back, Scoot. Why? No, the brownie gets all okay, hard it... after it cools down, and that's the best part. I can make actual true brownies. That. No, you'll use true real that, sugar and all that bullshit. True I'm that. poor. I can only digest high fructose corn syrup. Fine. I've been eating Jesus a lot of those lately. Christ. We'll, probably know we'll be why. right there. Scootle is really touchy oh, about happens. a weekly meal. So, Sandbar takes three children to that basement where the Tree Harmony just casually tortured him and his friends for no reason, and it looks like someone's given old Glim Glam a little bit of trouble here. Enjoying yourself in there, Starlight? And here we go. It's been a long setup, oddly long in fact but now after two yeah. years of waiting and uh, face, wondering face, we face. will at last bear witness to the final showdown between starlight glimmer and three days can sure seem like forever huh you know you ponies got it all wrong friendship isn't magic friendship is no. power Okay, Chrissy, you, you can drop the act now. It was a very well-played ruse, much more refined than your usual half-baked seat-of-the-pants attack plans, but we've only got about 30 more seconds left in the episode, so it's time for the big reveal. All of Equestria will bow to me, the future Empress of Friendship! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe she's just saving it for the last second, you know? I mean, this is Chrysalis. She wouldn't nope. just appear in the middle of the season and then not show up for the finale because that would be insane. No. Nope. Because it would mean that a literal fucking child outsmarted the entire cast of the show. And more importantly, it would feel like someone was ripping my heart straight out of my chest and crushing yes. it right in front of my face and she wouldn't do that to me again. Not again. Not this time. I know it. Yeah. Alone the oh yeah, it's the, uh, that's the part one. had to go out for a pack of cigarettes again, guys. But, you know, she might come back again one of these days. Probably not. She usually does. Well, yes, she does. For a little while. Don't worry, well, I'm I not going to keep them. running based, with that whole on, abandonment issues based, joke based, from the first part. That would the get villain. old fast. But to based be honest, I really did think this rosy-cheeked little twerp might be a certain changeling queen at first. However, in retrospect, I realized that putting together a plan this competent would require a level of skill and villainous acumen that's entirely beyond the capabilities of some people because they're just oh, wow. too dumb. Some people are just losers. They're just dumb, incompetent, deadbeat cowards who run away wow. from their responsibilities and the people who care about them. So, we're in Tartarus, and Tear Cuck's oh bragging about how he co-authored the season finale plot with Cozy, and Twice like, oh, hold on, so how long have you guys been, uh, pen pal? I don't know, about a year, why? So, you just been uh, writing letters to a ten-year-old girl for a whole year now, huh? Are you trying to imply something? <laughs> It's just a little weird, man. Hey, we wow. only talked about being evil. Nothing else. Yo, I'm just saying, if I looked and sounded like you, I'd be extra careful in this department. All right, guys, let's go back home and stop T-Rex lolly waifu. It's not like that. Wait, how do we get out? Man, we locked ourselves we out and then we locked ourselves in. We're like 0 for 2 on this door thing. I got an idea. Yeah. 0 for 3. You okay, man? My head feels like it has less... 
bones. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. Stop cozy. Take Dash to the hospital, and then I think we all need some kind of remedial education on how doors work. Don't worry, guys. I got a plan. Oh shit! What did she do to Starlight? I know what this is. It's a blue balling spell. Cozy stopped Starlight from doing anything in this episode yeah. and the autismal rage of all those disappointed glimmer fags has created a vortex that's sucking the magic right out of the show. Well, come on, let's give Starlight and her nice. fans some release. I think that thing just tried to fuck me. That is not what I meant by release. It's filled with autism. Of course it wants to fuck a pony. But who do we know that's not a pony? <laughs> Why won't it open? I don't know, dude. Dragons don't have doors. Yeah, neither do changelings. When this is all over, we should ask Principal Twilight how doors work. I bet she knows. Do you know anything about doors, Yona? <laughs> wow. I have seen through the door to the next life too many times, and now the voices wow. beyond call to me. Always calling, always beckoning, whispering. Come here, Yona. Come to us. Nothing to fear. Nothing wow. To fear. Is all I know. Why do our dorms lock from the outside? Shouldn't the lock be on this side of the door? I don't know. That sounds too clever for a pony to come up with. Guys, Cozy Glow's evil. Really? She seems so nice, though. Nah, she's a chode. A sure, cozy sure chode. All right, all of those non-pony degenerates are gone and I'm in charge of the school now. But I want that job. I am a government official and I'm qualified for it. There's nothing some random child can do to depose someone of my authority. He molested me. No, I didn't. What the fuck? They'll never believe you didn't do it. I basically look like a walking flashlight. What is wrong with you, kid? What happened to you? Nothing. And you know what? Just for that, I'm going to leave this right here. No. No, anything but no, that. No, no. I, I won't look. I won't look. So, the CMCs run interference on Cozy Chode, and even though she locks them in a broom closet, or closes them in it, it doesn't appear to have a lock, and even if it does, she didn't use it, they still buy yeah, enough time for the lot. zoo crew to save Chancellor Nene. And he's like, why are you guys helping me? Life is but a tiny flame flickering in the wind, extinguished in an instant by the slightest breeze. Any breath could be our last, any utterance our legacy, so magnanimity should be our way, and with ill wow. will we must not lightly speak. You, uh, y you feeling all right there, Yona? Yes. I am at peace. All right, I'm gonna go get help from Princess right. Celestia. But why, though? Without her magic, she's just tall. Shouldn't you stay here and try to help us? She'll be able to do something, I I'm sure of it. You guys will never get back here in time, though. Okay, look, I just need to get away from that dragon. Hey, what's wrong with dragons? Nothing. That's the problem. So, what's wow. the plan, Twilight? It's time for hot glue. You're making me nervous. You see, all these strange exotic creatures here aren't actually born like this. They're made out of a bunch of normal animals stuck together with hot glue. We'll have Tyrik use the power of his burning lust for fillies to melt the glue, then use it to stick a giant makeshift handle to this door, and then pull on it really, really hard. Pinky, you're the most childlike all right. of all of us. Go dance around for him a little bit. That should get him fired up. It's not like that. And Nutter Butter's like, sorry we gotta do this, guys, but don't worry. When this is all over, I promise I'll come back here and hot glue you all again. See, it worked. Oops, we're too late. Was nobody paying attention to the time? Yeah. Well, why don't any of us have a watch? Do ponies have watches? Guys, I think I'm retarded. Think so. What does that mean? I don't know. What, what if I have Alicornzheimer's like Celestia? That's why I just chill out. We're all kind of retarded. It's no big deal. No, I'm purple smart, yeah. goddammit. Purple smart. If I stop being smart, then I'm just purple. We already have enough purples. I don't want to live like this. I gotta find the exit. I can't find the Exit. What if I find the exit and there's a door? So, right. these guys finally go to save Glimmer. Yona almost dies again, and they get pretty close, but Lolly and the lynch mob show up, and our student friends get kicked in the ball. You did it, Cozy! You played some 4D fucking chess, and you checkmated everybody. Twiggy and the girls, the CMCs, the students, even fucking Glimmy. You played them all. Big ups, man. You won. Fair and square. Except you made one fatal mistake right there at the end. I'm not even sure the Tree of Harmony will be as helpful as 
it once was. You shit talk the tree of harmony, and as we've learned this season, in addition to being Equestria's locus of love, amity, and friendshipy power, this tree is a fucking psycho. If you get on its nerves, it'll melt your fucking face or torture you in an underground catacomb full of your worst fears. So even though it didn't intervene with anything you did before, you pissed it off, and now it's gonna wreck your shit. And Cozy's like, this is bullshit. I outsmarted all of you. I covered every base. My plan was perfect. How can you just win nice. all of a sudden? I'm telling you, man, you don't fuck with that tree. And Twiggy's all, dude, Cozy, why would you do this? What's wrong with you? Nothing! It's okay, man. All you need to do is tell me about your tragic backstory. Nothing then we can wrong. have a good cry, I can teach you about friendship, and you can join the cast of my show. Uh, you might even get your own show. That happens sometimes. Fine. Ever since I was a little filly, there you was... You still are! Shut up! Ever since... Whenever, there was one thing I've been really self-conscious about. Good, keep going. I... What was that? Don't have a tragic backstory. Do you have any idea what it's like being a villain with zero backstory? Nobody takes you seriously. Everyone's always like, Eh, you're just a normal kid who grew up in the harmonious paradise of Equestria. You've got no reason to be evil. And you want to know what really pissed me off? They were right. So I decided that if the world wouldn't give me a tragic backstory, I'd wow. make my own. I started writing letters to Tyrik. He thought he was helping me be evil, but he's a fucking idiot. Then I concocted this plan to steal all the magic from Equestria. Because? Because then, when everyone found out what happened, it would look like the sweetest, kindest, most innocent filly in the school was corrupted by a creepy old guy who groomed her to become a villain and made her commit the greatest atrocity in Equestrian history. Wow. It's the most tragic backstory ever! You know what, Princess cool. Twilight? I learned something today. What's that, Chancellor Nay? Nay? Say. Say. Nay say. Oh, wow. It's okay that I want to fuck dragons. That is debatable. It's okay, because children are evil abominations, and you can't get a dragon pregnant. I can. That is a very important lesson, Chancellor. I wish you luck in chasing the dragon. Wait, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, we figured wow. since we completed our first season and our first finale, we should have a little honorary graduation ceremony, you know? Actually, that's a good idea. I declare all your requirements fulfilled and your class is passed. You've graduated. Now get the fuck out and give me my show back. Oh, I get it. You're joking, right? No. Get out. Wow. JK, I love you guys. You're all right. I will defeat Twilight Sparkle and her friends. Guess who's not not looking? Shady's not tell a friend. Well, guys, here nice. we go. It's the last round. Yes. God help us this all. Is. So, season 9 begins with Princess Purple and company racing through Canterlot to answer an urgent summons yes. from our two favorite seat warmers and Luna. And she's like, okay, wh what's going on? We dropped everything and came what? as fast as we could. I had to drop an appointment with one of my distributors. I had to drop Apple Bloom. So, you know, you're footing that bill. Actually, good news. Nothing bad happened. Maybe not to you. My sister's got a skull fracture. Anyway, we're bailing on this whole princess thing. Uh, congrats, Twilight. You're gonna be the new me. The other five, you're gonna be the new Luna. Uh, Spike, Rarity's never gonna fuck you. <laughs> Wait, what? Oops, that just kind of slipped out. <laughs> Why would you just retire all of a sudden out of the fucking blue? Wow. Because I just got a throne and this is my sister's passive-aggressive way of taking it from me. Don't you see, Twilight? This was my plan from the beginning. <laughs> wow. It's all been wow. attacked. I've been carefully grooming you this entire time to be my successor. All of my incompetence Whoa. was just a charade I orchestrated to force you and your friends to build the skills necessary to rule Equestria. Uh, no. No, it wasn't. No, for real. I've been playing 4D chess this whole time. You couldn't even beat me at Monopoly when I was like eight. I faked that too. Dude, all those times we had to save Equestria, I was fucking terrified and every day there's this Constant anxiety gnawing at the back of my mind as I wonder when it's gonna happen again and if the next True. time will be the one that finally kills True. me or someone I love. If you let me go through all that shit 
just to test me. You're a fucking asshole. Oh, I didn't think you'd take it like that. Listen, cut the bullshit. I already do wow. the most important part of your she job did. for you anyway. You just want to make it official so you can shovel all the boring administrative shit off on me as well. No, that's not true. Fine, I'll do it. Yes. I'm going to need a lot of prep yes, time is. on this and any and all instructional material you guys have got. Eh, just read your own book. I'll see you got like three days. Well, why? Why can't you give me more time? We already bought train tickets and booked hotel rooms. Come on, man. Don't fuck us over that shit's non-refundable you're the rulers of equestria i think they'd make an exception twilight i can't go around imposing Maybe? on people like that just because Probably i'm the princess not. that's rude you know what discord it's the last season of the show so in the spirit of both charity and the depression which looms large in my ever more immediate future i will tolerate your presence here oh i don't need to be here for this <laughs> All right, I mean, if you insist. I got a question. So if one ruler is a monarchy right. and two rulers is a diarchy, what do you call six rulers? That would be a uh, sextarchy, but uh, I don't think we should. <laughs> you said sex! And that's why we're not calling it that, because Dash will wow. do that every time. <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> why are you guys being so chill about this? What if something comes along we can't deal with and the princesses are off in the Pony Bahamas getting their assholes bleached? We'll be stone cold fucked. <laughs> If you think about it, they literally almost never help. Give me a moment here. I just got to adjust a couple things. And there we go. <laughs> oh, well. Nice. Look who decided to yeah. show up. Yeah, that's cool. Looks like you've been having fun out there in the woods with your new family. Not like I missed you or anything. Hey, Chrissy, it's been a while. Well, oh, hey, Sombra. You, uh... Sound a little different than the last time we met. <laughs> yeah, I've been that practicing was, my enunciation. Was, I mean, I'm a king, right? If you're going to be giving people was, orders, you might as well voice. speak clearly. No, you sound gay. You sound fucking gay. Well, you know, I got banished to the nameless void, and I had a lot of time for self-reflection, and I realized I haven't been completely honest with myself about some things. You know? Yeah, 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 good for you. How the fuck are you going to be an evil king sounding like that? Uh, here, how's this? Eviler, also less gay. I don't know, this just doesn't seem right. I feel so inauthentic right now. All right, you nerds, listen up. Holy shit, it's Grogar. Dude, Grogar. <laughs> Who? You know, Grogar. He's fucking Grogar, man. Everyone knows Grogar. Fucking boomers, dude. Why are you a goat? Because when it comes to villains, I'm the greatest of all time. Nice. Kill yourself. I love coming to villains. All right, l listen. Why do you guys think those ponies always beat you? What do you mean by think? They beat you because they work together, and you guys don't. What are you suggesting? Yes. Really? You can't figure it out? What do you mean by it? Wow. That's... That's his point. I have had a few concussions. Right I'm saying we have to work together. Ew, I don't want to be your friend. What are you, some kind of faggot? Besides, I could take over Equestria by myself. I mean... <clears throat> I could take over Equestria by myself. This isn't a dick measuring contest. If it was, I would win, though, I'm just saying. This is the problem with you idiots. Y'all go quit walking in the pony land, waving your dick around, and what happens? It gets hacked <laughs> off every time. And now look at you. You're a bunch of dickless cocks. I never had a dick. Usually. It's a metaphorical dick. How many times does this have to happen before you realize it's not a viable strategy? One dick can't defeat wow. six chicks. Yeah. We need to put our dicks together. This sounds like a few parties I've been to. We need to form an alliance of villains working together towards a common goal. A legion of dicks. Can we like not call it that though? I like it. So, Twilight's made so many lists that she's become an autism squid and Glimmy's yeah. like, wait a second, this is a list of toiletries and personal items. Are you taking a trip or something? All right, look, can you keep a secret? Not a fair question to ask beforehand. I'm leaving, dude. Why? Why don't we sit down, have a drink? I've got a couple <laughs> Xanax bars. We can just talk. I finally get Celestia's game, bro. I was never a faithful student or surrogate daughter or whatever. I'm her fucking vacation pal. She's been saving up frequent twire miles ever since she laid eyes on me, and now she's cashing what? me in for an extended <laughs> holiday. Dude, I don't think Celestia's that evil, and she's 
definitely not that great. smart. That's the thing. I've gotten so paranoid. I don't even know anymore. I didn't used to be like this. Yeah, I was always a spaz, but now I get these panic attacks all the time. I'm not even 30 and I already have an ulcer. I'm finding gray hairs in my mane. I never decided to do this. I just oh, fell into it so gradually. I didn't realize what was happening. Celestia and the Elements of Harmony made all my decisions for me and suddenly I'm staring down the barrel of national yeah, governance. Were. Fuck that, man. I want to live a little before I commit the rest of my life to one thing. Man, if you hadn't been there, the entire world would have been destroyed multiple times over by now. Yeah, so I think I've paid yes, my debt to society have. pretty fucking thoroughly. There has to be someone else. What about your friends? They'll be devastated. Hey, that's where you come in. All we need is a little hair dye, a little restyle, paint my cutie mark on there. I am not comfortable with this. What do I tell Trixie? She'll love it. No. She's been trying to fuck me in the ass for years. Now she'll finally get to. You need to calm down and think about this. Sorry, man, but unless some unforeseen catastrophe goes down in the next few hours, I'm out of here before morning. Yeah, so Sombra's back. Yeah. Well, that was fucking easy. Oh, that was fucking easy. And Candy's like, thanks, Twy. We sure would have been fucked without you. Come on, who's to say, right? I mean, nice. you guys probably could have figured it out. Don't be so modest. No. It would have been eternal slavery and torment for us. Thank God you'll always be around to save Equestria day after day. <laughs> yeah. After day, after wow. day, after month, after year, after... <laughs> All right, oh, I God, get it. Crazy. I gotta admit, we've gotten pretty good at this. Maybe being the big princess wouldn't be so bad. Maybe I was just panicking and it won't be as stressful and repetitive as I made it out to be. Maybe life's not so bleak. <laughs> nope, yeah, yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah. It's a waking nightmare. <laughs> Best place to actually stop it. So, see you guys at the outro. Like I said, DWK stuff is also really fun. I I always enjoy it when he does his uh, does this stuff. Always again enjoy it. Always fun. These episodes are great. Uh, not much to really say. This is just going to be something that I probably like to do not as often as I would love to do it. But we'll see how YouTube takes and see what happens from there. But I really love these episodes. Uh, again, a lot of the season 8 stuff I kind of forgot. So now I'm actually trying to, now I'm actually catching up with the stuff and hopefully I can. He said the last one was uploaded like four months ago, so I don't know if he's like continuing it or if this. He's gonna stop the production of somehow, but we'll see what happens. But hopefully, I can be cut up soon. But we'll see. Uh, that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know I enjoyed these. Uh, again, see you guys later. Peace out. Bye. Stay safe. Stay safe. Better get ready for the assault. Balls to the wall, and it's all your fault. You just had to ransack the royal vault, so it's payback. I'll lay all the in default. First, everybody roll for decks. Next, reflect on your last respects. None of you pass the check. All of you feel the effect of the hex. Flex, that's the answer. Or do you forget that I'm a necromancer? Shatter in the neck of the blade dancer. Making a wreck out of the dragon lancer. Last chance to pray to the god of your choosing. And if you're fortunate, maybe you can get some mercy.